It's saying, is that all you got? Thirty-six. Yeah. yeah. You're Don't a goner, young mate. fella. Oh, here we go. Holy sh! G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficing Me, and this is the third time we've tried this trip. I reckon third time lucky, fellas. Yep. Third, third time. time lucky. Third time lucky. The, the last two years we've went on this trip, it's been raining, almost hailing, big waves, big ocean, big wind, but this time. No fish. And no fish. <laughs> yes. Thanks for that. <laughs> but this time, I reckon. Lux on our side. What do they call that lady of the sea, is it? Mermaid. Well, no, not really. <laughs> Something like that is on our side and is gonna watch over us and Wait we're gonna and we're gonna catch a ton. Let's get out there. <laughs> that way, really. <laughs> They're turning oh, slow. Oh, it would be James, yeah. yeah it's, it's like a tank. Well, we've pretty quickly hit a snag. It's <laughs> uh, it's called Big Waves, uh, just like uh, the perfect storm. And so it's very slow. Might be the slowest trip to Tangalooma ever. We've found out why we got jinxed on the weather. We've got bananas on the boat. <laughs> Multiple bananas. Multiple. Not just one. Banana? What banana? So, also okay. when you're boarding a boat, you should board with your right foot. With your right foot? With your right foot. Stepping upon a ship with your left foot was unlucky. Uh, yeah, I think I did that. Okay, and also flat footed people are bad luck. Gavin, get off. Gavin's got Gavin's Why not flat? flat? <laughs> <laughs> so the bananas are to do with when the ships were between say the Caribbean and Spain, the ships started to disappear. And when they come to find their wreckages, amongst it was floating bananas. Oh. So they presumed oh. the bananas would sink the boat. Oh. Okay. What, what is considered good luck? luck? What's what? good luck? Good luck. Good luck on the boat is the pineapples. So have we got pineapples in there? No. Uh, Surely we've got pineapples. No, no pineapples. No pineapples. Retro mix. Yeah, they're only in the retro mix. Because they bring better fishing and calm seas when board on the boat. <laughs> it's panic. We've actually caught something. Oh, you're getting the frame. We gotta get the net. We gotta get the net. We get the net. We get the net. Someone get the net. Someone get the net. Someone get the net. Someone get the net. Pull it. Oh, reel it in. No, let it go. Reel it in. Get the net. Stab it in the face. Three minutes. Oi! Hey, hey, hey. Get him, Jay-Z. Oh! Hey. Is it a little spotted mac? That's a little spotted mackerel. mac. Is it like a spotted Oh, it is too. Spotted dick. Bring him in. Bring little him in. school mackerel. Yeah. Back in the can. Where's Harry? Feed Polly some lollies. You should be able to see the moorings anyway once you're closer. Like, there should be. You can't see it now, I don't think. We're nearly at Tangaluma. Now we just have to moor up and that'll be it.
is our mooring there. James sits there, maybe yep. that way. Yeah, James sits up the front facing forward, and then you and I sit up the back here. So I'm going to be on the other side of the boat, James, so you're going to have to hang on to it. Thank you. So, Marky, I reckon if you sit opposite me, bud, we'll, yeah. be, we'll be all balanced up. Yeah. And we're here already. We're here already. Just lift that cover up. No we fumes. Oh, well done. Very spicky. All the way in. That's about as far as I dare. Yeah. I don't want to wreck a propeller or something silly. Go to my left, Marky. So, what happened with the, the boy? It's the hard part, boys. I'm happy with what I did there. Yeah. yeah. Just Blakey Blakes on a um, fishing trip. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what you do, you put the shade yeah, on. Yeah, I thought it was smaller. No, no, he's like shorter. Like, he's a little bit taller than that. He's a bit big. Oh, really? Give it a good take. Normally in the sea. The only thing I follow is Instagram. Social media I do. Yeah. And it's annoying. Well done, Brian. It's a Pus to Kunz. House of Arts. House of Arts. I don't think you could do that. <laughs> My Kunz is leaking. <laughs> My Kunz is leaking. Cheers, Kunz. Cheers, Kunz. Cheers, Kunz. Up your Kunz. Kunz. Up your Kunz. Oh, to all the Kunz. Mm. Have you got this on the film? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, well. nice. Here's to the Pus to Kunz. Here's to the Pus to Kunz. Up your Kunz. I wouldn't mind it. Well, that's day one dusted. We're having a hustakuts. That's a specific cocktail Brian's making. The boat's floating out in the bay there. And we've just filleted the mackerel. We might even fry up some of the mackerel, just have a taste of it fried. Probably won't even crumb it. Maybe a bit of panko, who knows? Marky, before the sun goes down. What's the goods? 
This is... Oh. Oh. Holy, oh, holy, 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 holy Huster Kunz. Huster Kunz. Lean forward, yeah. lean forward. You fat mother. <laughs> Day two of our Tangaluma six man in a six metre Stabycraft adventure. And here we are. So let's hope that we get a really good day's fishing in and the fish are biting. Beautiful water. Lovely cruising along. So fun. So fun. So we've pulled up this morning well, along Hutchies, Smith's Rock, the lighthouse is over there from the tip of Cape Morton and we did a bit of a sound around, there's a few fish on the bottom, there's lots of boats out here this morning, it's decent weather, hopefully we can catch something here, we'll just see how we go. What do you got Bri? A little uh, grassy. Oh, a grassy. That's a beauty. Oh, look oh. At that. Now that's nice. Look at that fella. Good stuff, mate. Nice. There you go. Mm. Very good scummy. eating, yeah. Is he big enough? Yeah, yeah, let's measure him up. I'd say so. Get a ruler out, put him somewhere. They've got to be 35. Ooh. That's better. You turn around the back of the side. Close. 36. Yeah! yeah. You're Can't a goner, young mate. fella. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't make it. Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. Your dinner. You want to give him a kiss, JC? Nah. Nah. Give it a yibber. He's dead now, isn't he? Give it a yibber. Did he pass away? You caught him? I got oh, yeah. something. something there. I got something. Oh, it looks like a. He's uh, a big red fella. He look odd. Yo! Yep. See you little fella! Oh, what a release. <laughs> the triple backflip. The triple flipper. The flipper. What do they have to be? Uh 25, I think. 25? Yeah. Probably keep them at 35, eh? Where does that come from? Oh, you had one on as well, John. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Holy shit. What's that? I think a shark just took it. Oh, you're kidding me. Just as you got it up. Oh. It was something grey, wasn't it? Oh. Oh, you little f***. it up a little bit, just a bit. Oh, yeah, he's cut through. Well, we've come back in from Smith's Rock. It wasn't too bad out there. We we're going to go to Hutchies and keep going on the reef. We caught a little sweet lip and also a Moses perch. That was pretty cool. And then we decided to come back in before it blows up out there and get sort of close to the bay where I pulled in, believe it or not, like a rat kingy. It was a good 70 centimetres or so, but um, yeah, not not humongous, but still a great fight. And we got it before the shark did. So now we're just sit, setting up and having some lunch, letting a few lines soak while we just relax. Oh, I was here in time, wasn't I? Perfect timing. Oh, you got margaritas there. 
Mm, very nice. Cheers. 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 Well done. Ready? Yep, go. Weird how quiet it is. Can't still get over it. We've owned it for two years. Here he is, we got go towards him. Yep. and um, the fish out before I started making it. Kingfish has got yeah. that pink. Well, it's day three, and today, after an action-packed yesterday where we caught that kingy, we've decided that we're gonna take it a little easier. It's gonna blow up earlier this afternoon than it was yesterday. Yesterday was the best day. Today, the, the weather isn't looking as good, but it's still pretty good in the bay, but it blows up about three, so we'll probably come back in before three. But the plan for today is to do a little bit of squidding, hit the pylon, see if we can catch a few mackerel, get some liveys, maybe hit the artificial reef at Cowan Cowan. Let's get out there. the four beacons we're gonna chuck for some mackerel see how we go it's a good little barbie yeah yeah does the job hey Shit, yeah. lightweight pretty simple pretty good one. Net right, uh, Marky, I mean. You're going, James. <coughs> you bring it up to the left. Ooh, you're a nice looking color. Beauty. That's a good size one. Trevelli. Oh, that's a Trevelli, is it? That's a good size one, too. That's a silver trail. Yeah. That's a good eating size. Good 
Go on, yes. That's him. What's it called? Trevelli, Silva, yeah, yeah. Trevelli. Uh, 20. Oh, good, we can get 20 of them. Hmm? Only 16 more to go. We're gonna bag out. <laughs> well, there you go. First squid that I've ever squidded. <laughs> squid juice. How cool is that? We've just been fishing at Cowan Cowan. Did well, got a couple of snaps, got four Trevelli, and uh, we thought, look, let's go and try to catch our first squid. And uh, here we are in the weed banks and caught our first one. He's not big, but we're going to take it. Good barbecuing, great fishing. Good fishing. What's he saw on there? You deserve a boat. Oh, wetsuits. Safari. No, I said, are we going out for a snorkel out here? Probably? Yeah, okay. Selfsufficientme.com. <laughs> <laughs> Same, like we don't know which one. No, that, oh, oh, no it doesn't so matter. Just eat it. Some of these ones were. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah. Some of them were the, the either the perch or the. Oh, sweet. That's sweet lip. That's sweet lip yeah, right. the white ones are sweet. More white. Yeah, that's sweet lip. And then the other one is mackerel. I have a bit of mackerel. Oh, oh. It's saying, is that all you got? You always get a good knot, Marky. Yeah. Yeah, at least it hasn't come loose yet. Well, this is kind of unexpected. This is the supposed to be the last morning here at Tangaluma after our three days of fishing but as you can see behind me and probably here in the mic the buffering we've woken up to severe wind and uh, well terrible seas Stabycraft out there is tied to that boy hopefully it'll hold on but we're not going to even get out to the boat at this stage to get to our mooring to to leave Tangaluma and get home so We've got some decisions to make. We've got to wait till about lunchtime today to see if it dies down. There's a little bit of a lull in the weather, but not much. It just sort of backs off a bit. Uh, otherwise, we might have to stay here till tomorrow because the forecast tomorrow is much better. What a bummer.
Well, it's actually officially day five or four nights here at Tangaluma. We didn't expect this, but uh, you know, you, you can't put your crew at risk. You can't put people's lives at risk over a little bit of money. So we stayed the extra night. It was well worth it. It's a lot calmer now. The wind is nice and cool. It's predicted to get even calmer on the way over. So we've done the right thing by hanging back an extra day, forking out the cash for that extra night, and all's good. Three of the other guys caught the ferry back because they had to get back to work, and uh, three of us stayed behind. And now we're just going to load up and get back over for the end of this fishing trip and uh, call it a day. And a very good fishing trip it was. Full of drama, full of highlights, full of fish, full of great stuff. First of all, I kept on going in circles in the dinghy and I don't know why that happened, but it was the current, the wind, and I can't drive for shit. That's more like what it was. But uh, we got off the beach, it was rough holding it on the beach, but we got our gear in. It's a bit rugged, we're wet. It was a good effort, and now we're away. Finally on our way home after a very adventurous trip. Six men in a stabby indeed. It was... Uh, yeah, nearly six days. Well, we've run into a disaster just on the way home. I can't believe this, but our motor stopped working. Our beautiful Yamaha has just conked out. I think there's water in the, in the fuel or something like that. We're trying to rectify it now, but we've called the Coast Guard. They're gonna get back to us because they don't have any crews on at the moment. So we're floating in the middle of Morton Bay trying to fix this motor. Oh, I'll tell you what. Well, at least it's calmed down a bit. No, no button. Hmm? It just came to a screeching halt. Spluttered and then we can't start it again. We're trying to bleed the fuel at the moment, but we don't have the tools on board to do that. If you had an electric boat, this is what it would sound like. Pretty quiet, except we haven't got an electric boat. We're getting towed.
want me to take over, James? safe because of these guys Paul and Ian both ex-navy volunteers in the Coast Guard unreal unreal guys without them you'd be a dead boat floating Well, that was quite a trip. Thanks again has to go to the Coast Guard who got us home safely. Well, not home, but to the boat ramp, you know what I mean. Uh, look, we weren't really under any big danger. And I think the reason for that mainly is because we picked our day to go back over. If we would have went back over the day before when the weather was terrible, imagine what it would have been like being stuck out in a disabled boat in the middle of the bay and then trying to get rescued it would have been a nightmare and so that's why I'm really happy with ourselves that we read the weather that we didn't take any risks because when something does go wrong you want it to go wrong in the best possible way yet you can and you want to have your safety plans in action particularly on the water so that you can get out of a real sticky situation as safely as possible which we did so yeah heaps of thanks goes out to the coast guard and it really does pay literally to be a with your life and also with your wallet to be a member of the coast guard and i would definitely recommend doing that apart from that it was an action-packed fishing trip it's always great it's always good fun going fishing with your mates it's one of the the most the best things that you could do with a group of blokes because it's sporty it's a heck of a lot of fun it's exciting and even if you're not catching fish you're just you know having a lot of fun backwards and forwards with banter and just enjoying being out in the great outdoors for those of you who are wondering about the motor it's all good it, we did confirm that there was water in the motor about a liter or so of water and even if we would have been able to bleed it on board, we still probably would have kept getting stuck and stalling. So we took it to Northside Marine. Those boys there, I tell you what, the mechanics and the, the boat mechanics there are just awesome. And they fitted us in because they, they suspected that it was salt water in the motor and they wanted to get that cleaned out as soon as possible, even though they were super busy. So thanks guys, they flushed it out got it working and now it's purring along and running really nicely so there you go and if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big fishy thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and share this video around thanks a lot for watching bye for now catch ya in the next video